stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Start my day. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Welcome back to another episode of Project 301. So today we've got another full day of eating, just talking you through some of the changes that I've made over the last four weeks. So I uh, kind of assessed my physique with my coach um, a month ago, and we determined the kind of the timeline to compete again, and saw that we got enough time that if I wanted to, I could either start the prep, or I could have another four weeks to have a last push for some extra muscle growth. So this is where I'm at. So the breakfast you saw, just me uh, kind of putting together there. I never really have a big appetite for breakfast. Um, so I always start with some liquid calories, so nice and easy. Got 45 grams of whey protein here. I've got 15, uh, 10 grams of glutamine actually in here as well for digestion. And then just a cereal bar to get some extra calories and carbs in. Um, like I said, don't have a massive diet, uh, appetite for food in the morning. So just getting in some calories by any means necessary really. Uh, just to carry me over until meal two, which will be my pre-workout meal. Uh, and in terms of kind of physique and what my aim is here, so uh, like I said, I just want to get a little bit more muscle growth in if possible. So we've pushed from 3,700 calories up to 4,000 calories, which we'll see how I'll get through today, um, with the majority of that change being from additional carbs. So training-wise, to go along with the change to nutrition to push for that last bit of muscle growth, uh, what I've also done is, with because we know it's kind of a short period of around four weeks of training, I can afford to go a little bit harder and not have to worry so much about the, uh, the effects and the recovery after that. So we've gone closer to failure on a lot of the working sets and used more intensifiers like um, mechanical drop sets, partial reps, forced reps, all these kind of things just to, like I said, push closer to failure. And then the aim was I was weighing around 100 kilos four weeks ago. And so now with this um, change to my program, I'm sitting at around 102 kilos with the last few days of this muscle growth block left. So let's get this shake done and we'll get into the next meal. Hey. Brush my teeth up, wash my face, throw my clothes on, start my day. Okay, so meal number two. So now it's like three hours after meal one. Now I've developed a bit of an appetite. So I introduced my first kind of actual food into the equation. So I've got a Nutrafast meal here, which this one is smoked paprika and chili mints with red pepper pasta and some carrots. So it's easy. It takes me two minutes to put in the microwave and salt it. Uh, hits the macros, tastes good and digests well. So this is always my go-to pre-workout meal, one of these Nutrifast meals. So we've got 600 calories, 47 protein, 65 carbs and 15 fat. So again, this hits one of my daily requirements of 40 plus grams of protein within a meal. Uh, so with that, I just got a few extra carbs just coming from banana and again, just kind of easily readily available energy source for, for our trace. Okay, so now we've got the pre-workout. So of course, we've got the goat rotation going on at the moment, which is defib and focus and pump. So for like the highest stim sessions, this is quite an all-rounder. So I've been using it for leg days and the harder upper days. And then the focus and pump is a nice one when you just need kind of slightly lower stim but all the kind of uh, focus from the nootropics and a good pump. So I use these mostly on the slightly easier upper days or when I just need less stim. So for today, pretty tough session. We're going to go with some defib. Okay. Okay, so next meal we've got the uh, intra workout. I'm just waiting outside the gym now to go in. Uh, so in the intra workout, again, is it uh, an essential thing? Not really, but it's for me where I've experimented with my training. Uh, I've always found that I train better when I do have one. So that's uh, just an easy reason for me to always use one. 
but also when I'm bulking, there's a lot of calories. It just acts as another window for me to get some more calories in, so it works perfectly for that as well. Uh, so I've got in this one, I've got the EAAs, so I've got about 20 grams of EAAs in here. Um, and it's not really counting as like a full protein serving because I've already got those planned out anyway. Um, but the aim of it is a little bit different as well. So it's not so much to maximize the protein synthesis like I was planning to for the others. Um, this one is more during the training to kind of actually minimize the protein breakdown to help me just kind of um, preserve the muscle mass as well as I can. Uh, and to keep a bridge basically in terms of some protein levels before my next meal. Uh, so the next part of it is I've also got 90 grams of carbs in here. So you can see that's pretty full up because there's quite a lot of powder in there. So I need a lot of liquid. So I've got 90 grams of carbs, like I said, just to get some extra carbs in for the day because there's 600 to get through. Uh, and also just again, maybe have some readily available energy to help with performance. And of course, we've got the trusty five grams of creatine in here as well, which is not going to act upon my macros, but just to help with training. So let's get into the session. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll. Doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, give money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, peso, peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up. Told it if it's all me. Okay, I know that today will be a good day. Okay, I know that today will be a good day. A, B, C, one, two, three. Drink some water, brush my teeth, get out of bed and I stretch. So post workout, just finished the session. So uh, we've got the shake here. So even though it's kind of not so important in terms of me actually getting the nutrients in right now, so soon after the workout, because I had the intra workout with the EAAs and the carbs, I had my pre workout meal that had protein in as well, and I had a big serving of protein for breakfast as well. So, like I said, while it's not uh, essential that I have the nutrients in immediately after my workout, in terms of timing to give myself more uh, windows and more time to eat more food later in the day, because I've got a lot of calories to get through, so I just make sure I have a shake that kind of acts as a bridge between now and the next meal. So, in here, as you saw there, I got 60 grams of weight, 60 grams of clustered dextrin. And so to go with the shake, got some Rice Krispie squares, get some extra carbs and extra calories to get in. And again, that'll just keep me satisfied and ticking over until the next meal in an hour or two, which will be a whole meal instead of another liquid meal. Like and still keep it real as it is. I show my age, I don't switch. Often I'm just as a dad as a kiss. Try taking that with my kids, talking, I'm guessing this life how it is. And I can't wait for the weekend. Keep jammies on like I'm a kid. Yeah. Wake up, Wake up get, up, get up, up, stretch my legs. Eat some, eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Throw my clothes on, start my day. Okay, here we go, next meal, which is dinner. So there's a few hours after my post-workout shake. So we got uh, some chicken with jerk seasoning. We've got some basmati rice from the microwave with some pink Himalayan salt and then a little glass of OJ for some extra carbs, of course, which is the theme of the video. More carbs, more calories. We keep it moving. Next meal. Let's Wake go. Up, 
I can smell the smoke from the bacon. Let's go, see the sun shining from the windows. Okay, I know that today will be a good day. Okay, I know that today will be a good day. Feel good, feel great, can't complain. Look out my window, see birds and planes. Sun's out, some clouds. So last meal of the day, just the macro filler. So whatever we got left in terms of the macros and calories. So we of course got plenty of carbs left. So we got the biggest bowl I could find. Bigger the better. If you've got a vase, you know, that could work too. Bigger the spoon, the better as well, you know. Ladle's always acceptable, as Chris knows. My ladle. My batter in. A ladle. Oh, a ladle. ladle. That's a ladle. A ladle. Uh, and then we also have an apple, just to fill in some extra carbs. Uh, and that should be it for the day, really. So I'm just about ready to get through this and get ready for bed. So thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.